Hey guys, it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the LA Splash um, Golden Gatsby palette. This is like a really random um, palette only because the reason why I found it is because I was searching on Ulta just at new stuff that had come in. And I noticed that they had a whole like line um, from LA Splash of like Golden Gatsby themed products. The palette is $28. You do get 10 shadows. Um, now they do have a description on Ulta of what the shadows are supposed to be, but in all honesty, based on like me trying it out and how I feel about the actual products, I believe it's four full matte colors, um, like one and like a half a shimmer, <laughs> which I'll explain. Um, three uh, three pressed glitters and one shimmer shade. So my favorite color in the palette is this one right here. This one's called Zazzled. Um, it, it, it's like a deep emerald green color. It has little specks of like gold and bronze shimmery glitter, but not glitter to the point where it's like irritating. And it has the most color payoff out of everything in it. The downside to um, this specific color is that I did use it like um, on the bottom lash line in one of my looks and I think the look came out great. However, at the end of the day, I did have like green specks like on my face so it actually bled a little bit um it didn't do it the first time i wore it but i believe i wore um a concealer underneath because i did like a cut crease look so i believe i wore a concealer underneath so it had something to stick to that first go around um whereas on the bottom lash line it was sort of supposed to adhere by itself and it didn't the other color that i think is pretty decent this color right there is called highball and it's your basic like orange orangey brown transition shade it does have a good amount of pigment you do have to build it up pretty nicely and the thing with this palette in general is I do feel like I did have to work a little bit for a lot of the color payoff and even though this one has more color payoff than like the other mattes I do feel like I still had to go in there a few times in all honesty all the mattes just blend out okay um, I feel like it took I feel like it took a lot of finessing to get it to where I actually wanted it sometimes this color was a little bit hard to move around it's kind of like it kind of wanted to just be where I put it um, which I mean in certain shadows I don't mind that but this to me is a shade to sort of deepen up a look for example I did use this color and I wanted the brown to sort of deepen up just a little bit on the outer corner um, however it didn't do that it kind of stuck a little bit in place and then it muddied up this color um, which we'll get to this color in a minute but um, it felt like it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do it wasn't moving around like I wanted it to move these colors aren't buttery they're not smooth they're not you know what I mean they're a little bit more powdery but not powdery in a very pigmented good kind of way so as far as the other color that I was excited about um, this one is mint julep and now online it is described as a mossy green which I thought for sure I could like just put it um, kind of like how I did this look where it's just all over the lid and sort of smoke it out in a green like have a smoky green eye which I was able to do a like a all over the lid color but it just didn't pack enough punch for me it didn't it didn't quite hit the way that I wanted it to hit the funny thing about this color is it can literally go on like a lime green which it did originally when I put it on or it can go on like a dark mossy muddy green um, which to me is like really really weird <laughs> so the first time I went in with this color I did try to use it as a transition shade it went on like a light green however none of the colors in this palette were able to blend in with this color without making it look like a hot mess so I had to do that look over um, and then I did record a look where I use a base for this color um, and I just wanted the green to have something to adhere to to give me a little bit more pigment um, a little bit in your face kind of color and unfortunately what it ended up doing is it still gave me the same um, but in within the same eye look it was lime green in certain places it was dark green in other places and it didn't stick to the actual base that I put down which I thought was just crazy to me so as far as the shimmers go um, okay so this color right here is like a very very light supposed to be white shimmer 
Um, but what I find, it, it does brighten up a look. I used it in one of the looks in my inner corner and it did really, really awesome at like just brightening that up. But I don't find that it has enough shimmer or movement to it to where if I turn my head it's doing anything different. It just to me was like a matte brightener. Um, and then this color right here called Mary Pickford, it's a half shimmer to me because it, you can literally look at the palette and see that it's supposed to be a shimmer. Just like this one, like these two are supposed to be like a shimmery kind of situation. So with this color, you don't get much color payoff at all. Um, again, I tried using a base with it and it just, it's one of those things that does the same thing as this one where it's either a peach tint, which looks exactly like my skin tone on my eye, it, looked, it was really weird or it'll be pink but not pink enough that you can actually see it like it wasn't anything special on my lid originally <laughs> i was going to do a just very very soft look with this color this color and this color but i couldn't get enough pigment out of this and then this one now online i believe they were saying that these were like shimmer shades they aren't shimmer shades they are glitters which, I mean, you can kind of tell from the picture, so I, I was full on prepared to use a glitter glue and get, you know, the pigment that I wanted. However, <laughs> when I swatched these colors, when I originally got it, I was like, uh-oh. So I used the glitter glue on purpose going in with these three shades. So for this color right here specifically, like when I went in with the glitter glue, I just thought that this was going to adhere to the glue and it would be like a really sparkly look and it was so lackluster it was just it was really disappointing Pat McGrath has really really special glitters where basically you can use a um, glitter glue to pack on Pat McGrath um, like her glitter shadows and you can get an opaque glitter look um, most of the shadows that I use that have that glitter pigment can be built up to have an opaque look however <laughs> This palette's glitters, these don't necessarily do that. They're very, even I want to say basic, but even basic glitters do more than what I feel like these glitters did. Now, while this palette isn't necessarily my favorite, <laughs> um, I do think that it's a very cute aesthetic. Like, I like that they went with the whole Golden Gatsby theme. I like that. Um, they did it throughout like an entire collection the lashes that I ended up getting which were the sugar mama lashes I really really enjoyed those and I'm going to pick up more lashes from LA splash um, And I do think overall it's a very cute idea. It's a cute aesthetic the colors. I love the colors I just hate the performance so bad. I mean, luckily the palette didn't cost like 30 40 50 dollars. It's a 28 dollar palette um, so essentially 10 shades you're not paying like an arm and a leg for it I have other palettes that are less expensive that have more pigment that work better um, you got the Maybelline like the little city minis you have um, Colourpop in every single eyeshadow palette that they put out wet n wild I swear like wet n wild has four dollar shadow palettes and even those work better than this palette did like I know this video is like super negative and I don't necessarily want to be negative but I just feel like if you guys were looking at getting the palette I don't recommend it <laughs> um I recommend the eyelashes I do want to still try out um they had like an eyeliner they had some lip products I am going to still try those out but this specific palette is a no for me <laughs> Alright guys, that about does it for me. I'm sorry that this video was so negative, but hopefully it was helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video if the mood suits you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!